So, this is the new luxury inn of the 18th century. Absolutely, and appropriately it's named after the local landowners, the Dukes of Beaufort, and dotted all around are their portcullis emblems. We must be in the old stable yard here, so this is more evidence of Monmouth's importance as a commercial centre. Absolutely right. And after the building of the new Shire Hall in 1724, this area became the centre of local government. Right, and it was a social centre as well. This is an inn, but it is part of the polite society of the 18th century. Less hard drinking, more coffee and tea and intelligent entertainment. Mm. And if you go up to the castle, you can look across the River Mano to Vauxhall Fields. John Tibbs, who was the first landlord of the Beaufort, laid out a pleasure garden there and then built a bridge across the river from the castle. John Wesley came here in 1784 and said how wonderful the gardens were. And of course, there was Admiral Nelson. Yeah, this is where he stayed in 1802. He and Sir William and Lady Hamilton were supposed to be on their way to a family holiday in West Wales but it turned into more of a triumphal procession involving a bit of research into timber resources for shipbuilding. How were these coaching inns affected by the railways? Well, you could still get the coach to the mainline stations. The Mazeppa left here just after 6am and took you to Gloucester to meet the London and Birmingham trains. But of course, by then, the tourist trade was more important, wasn't it? Mm. People attracted by the wonderful scenery and doing the fashionable wide tour by boat? Yes, and they were catered for by new local businesses. We'll see one a little later. <laughs> 